Okay guys, so this is gonna seem a little odd, <laughs> but um, with the with these videos, who is this? I um, wanted to do um, some Romance Angels cards for you guys. So, to begin the reading, so it's gonna, these, these two videos are gonna be put together. Okay, so let's see what we got for you guys as a message. Now, mind you, this is the thing. I'm actually doing this after you are reading because I forgot to do it before. And so I want you to, to notice if this message coincides with the message from the reading or whether it's a completely different message altogether. So we're going to see what, um, what comes up here. Because I actually like to do these before and then lay the cards on top. Um, and, and that way, you know, we can see if it's a totally different message, if it adds some layer to it, or, um, you know, just kind of like re reaffirms what's already going on in the reading. All right, let's see what we've got for you guys. Pull three cards, okay? Chemistry, look at that. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. See, I know what the message in the reading is, but you don't, not just yet. And I like it. Mm -hmm. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like it. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. These are all very positive cards for a connection. Okay. Whether you are reestablishing a connection or whether this is something totally new for you guys. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and um, cut to your reading. Hello, Aries. <clears throat> this is, what do I call it? I always say, who is this? So we'll just stick with that. Let's see, who is this person? Because I felt like there was somebody that was hot on your heels for um, the monthly reading that I did for you guys a couple of days ago. Let's see who this person is. Who is this? Who is this person that is an Aries energy? Who is this person? Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, somebody that does not move too fast. This is somebody that really likes to plan out their um, whatever it is that they're going to do because this person does not want to mess up with you. Okay. <clears throat> Four of Swords, somebody that's been hurt. Um, and I think that's probably why they like to take things slowly because um, I, I'm getting that this person has rushed into situations before that weren't necessarily good for them. And so now they, they you know, approach things more um, hesitantly, seriously. Libra energies here with the Four of Swords. Um, I think this person... Uh, is coming off of her and it may not have been something that has just happened but um, it may have happened a while ago years ago even but I think this person maybe four years ago I don't know why that's coming in my head um, a previous relationship it could definitely have been a relationship that you guys were involved in with this person um, but I think they're wanting to take things slowly now because of how things have played out before for them Okay, King of Swords energy here. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're really um, minding, you know, their steps. What is it that they do? Okay, um, this is somebody that comes across um, pretty seriously, you know, uh, pretty mature. I feel knows what it is that they want, 
and um, and I feel like this person has no problem going for it if they feel like it's the right situation for them. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So I'm feeling strong, Taurus, Libra, uh, Gemini here. And Aquarius, I feel like this person is your soulmate. Okay, this is somebody that you could potentially spend the rest of your um, natural life with. Uh, somebody that can bring about a lot of healing for you. Um, you know, just make things clear for you. Honestly, I think a lot of your relationships probably have been kind of muddled before. I think with this person, things will seem um, effortless with them. Okay, you won't have to try to... Um, make something happen with them because I think it will flow. It will happen naturally. And you guys, I feel like we'll get along very well. Okay. Let's see. Show me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Hmm. That's being on the fence. Okay. They're, they're knowing what they want to do, but um, not jumping right into things. Like I was saying before, this is somebody that, that sits on the fence a lot of the times because they're scared to make a mistake. Aries energy. I'm feeling like they're scared to make a mistake with you. So they're really kind of like, you know, taking turtle steps towards you guys. If this person's not already in your life, which I kind of feel like they are, um, they're not trying to move too fast and mess things up is what I'm getting here, okay? Please show me more about the Four of Swords. Seven of Wands. Mm, mm -hmm. They don't want conflict. They don't want drama. They don't like drama. Um, I, I feel like this person has some um, uh, healthy boundaries. And um, this person does not like to argue. Um, they do. I feel like this is an upstanding type of person that that is uh, approaching you guys here. This is Leo energy. Mm-hmm. But this person's been through something with this two of wands and seven of wands like i said before they've been through something but i feel like for some reason you guys you know you seem like you're it for them <clears throat> oh ten of cups yeah you're it for them they see happiness with you they really feel like they could have it all with you guys. Um, they've been burned before though. Okay. So be gentle with them, Aries. <laughs> and then the Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person definitely would be somebody that you can get along with. And just be able to just kick it with barbecue with go to a basketball game with like you know this is very good right here with the star um followed up by the three of pentacles this is somebody that really wants this to work out between you and and them okay <clears throat> what do they really want with aries what does this person really want with aries eight of cups Huh. Of course, this person cannot want you guys to walk away. So what I'm getting is this person does not want to disappoint you. Um, and, and they don't want you to disappoint them. They want you to be everything that they feel like you guys uh, could potentially be for them. I'm feeling like they want you to um, welcome this, this Ten of Cups energy. And feel like, you know, they can uh, be the one that can step in and you guys can be happy together. Hmm. I see an energy there. Ace of Cups. This person's looking for you to basically, look at this. We have the eight to the ace, which is the nine to the ten of cups. I think this person wants to give you their love. They want to be there for you. They want to have a relationship with you. Um, they feel like they could have it all with you guys here. They're leaving some sort of um, discontentment behind. What's going on here, okay? I feel like this person's definitely single. 
if you didn't already know that, if you're questioning that, they're already single. I feel like they did leave a situation behind, but I don't feel like it's been anything like really recent. And if it was re recent, it wasn't serious. It's a thing. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.